Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more of The Hunter. Today, we'll be hunting around in Rohonga. And I can't actually hear anything I'm doing right now. So I'm going to go down here and see if I can't actually shoot something to test. You've got the hunter's sense. Follow those tracks. Okay, good. It is working. I'm going to try to go get some more buffalo for now. Which those two pawns are the most known place. And then if there isn't any, I'm going to go back on the savannah and go for some wildebeest and lions. But yeah, this is the highest I can have the volume go, and I still can't hear myself do anything. Hear a little bit of movement. Okay, those are just warthogs. I think it's just very quiet. Where's my bow? Don't tell me. There. I was concerned for a second because I didn't find any of my actual arrows. Okay, so it's over here. And yet I can't see it. I think it might have... Might have ran off. I have to use the word might have run off. Well, this is definitely the wrong gun for the job, but it should do it. That also is probably going to be really loud. I 
Yeah, I did get it. I thought I saw another buffalo up on that hill. But yeah, that was very much not the right gun to use. Wait, I shot it from the this side, and I didn't hit the right lung, but I hit the left lung, and I was shooting it from the right side on. So I freaking threaded the gap, it seems. Okay. My goal for the day is to... Actually, I just realized I don't have to buy the big, big gun. Hmm. I think first I'm going to buy the better binoculars next time. They're not binoculars, a uh, scope. That's just another warthog. They sound much more dangerous than they actually are. Even though they're very dangerous. They sound almost like a freaking buffalo. Nope, not here. More warthog watering grounds. Okay. I think I'm going to go get the wildebeest soon. It's still warthogs, not the uh, cape buffalo I'm looking for. It sounds freaking... It sounds so dangerous, but it isn't. What time is it in game? 7.16. I know something I can do. I'm going to go back here. It's 9 to 12. Okay. I'm going to go back, buy my better scope, put it on, and then I'm going to actually change time. Rifle sights. 1 to 4... Wait, is that actually the best scope I can get? Really? Why? Okay. That is actually the best I can get. Hmm... Know what then? I'm gonna buy the better handgun ammo yet. Nope, I'm like halfway there. I didn't even want with 300 rounds.
I can't actually buy the Zenith. Wow, I could buy 10 rounds for it. How much does the Zenith weigh? A lot. But theoretically, whatever I hit with the Zenith will die immediately. And sights. Oh, my sights aren't compatible. Oop. Compatible items. Oh, it is compatible. It's just I didn't. Okay. You know what, I'm going to get the other scope out of storage and see if it works. Why can't I put a scope on it? Oh, I was looking at the three. That explains it. I was looking at the seven millimeter, not the apex. I need a different red dot set, like reflex height. In which case, I can throw this other one back in. Okay, and now the actual building is here. Change time to nine o'clock. And then we go get ourselves some buffalo. I'm gonna be using the big gun, I think. Because the big gun should literally drop them where they stand. If I got it correct. 100 penetration and 25 expansion should just freaking blow them up. In a good way. This is the gun you'd be using for these buffalo in real life. Instead of that bow. Bows have much more penetration than they actually should have in this game. Like, they kill stuff much quicker than they should. But the ammo of this gun, oh my god, is it expensive. Not to mention, I don't even have anything besides the iron sights on it. Which I can make do for now with the iron sights. Oh, there's some buffalo right there. It also doesn't have 
a scope or anything I can put on it. The only thing I can put on it is a freaking reflex sight, which I don't have yet. I hear a whole bunch of stuff. Also, this gun will be loud when I fire it. I'm warning whoever's watching right now. Because I don't think I have my volume settings tweaked yet for it. Right here... Just past this trees. Yeah, that's the watering hole. I heard something, so I... Okay, they, they heard me. I got stuck on a tree. Damn freaking tree! I got stuck on the tree long enough for them to get away. I'll give my best to try to chase one down, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Unless I can somehow get them to run against that, like, cliff there. Unfortunate. This is one of those guns I very much do not want to accidentally fire. Because the b ammo in it is so expensive, it's like, I think $200 a bullet. Or 200 units a bullet. Yeah, those guys are going to get away from me so hard. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the other ones then. Those ones got away. That tree just held me there with its hitbox, so I couldn't keep running. By the time it took me to get off the tree, they had already completely escaped. I wish animals in this game would be more aggressive than they are. Because I feel like a whole herd of buffalo wouldn't run just from hearing some sounds in the woods. Like... The amount of noise I was making in the woods would be the amount of noise that anything moving through the woods would make. Almost. And I don't think a whole herd of Cape Buffalo would be scared off by just noise in the woods. Oh. Something just happened in the game. Oop. I think some might be back. Hmm. 
the range on this gun I have isn't good, especially considering I don't have a sight on it, besides the iron sights, which... They're running from just hearing me move through the bush. I'm not taking that shot if I don't think I have a good shot at it. This ammo's too expensive to try to waste. This is one of the guns I straight up don't think I'm be firing at moving targets. Unless it's moving at me. Like, try to stop a freaking lion that's hunting me down. Or I should say, charging me down. Because lion charges are insta-kills in this game. Yeah, each bullet I essentially need to take down a buffalo with. Oh, yeah, there's them there. I think I should be using my 300. Might actually be more efficient because I can actually scope in on that. Oh, they're fleeing this way though. Very old. Is it the hunting pressure that's causing them to run? Because the hunting pressure isn't quite touching them. Nothing over there. Okay, oop. That should kill it, I would expect. No. Yes. I got close a second too freaking soon, though. Oh, I hit in the head. That sucks. And damn, that thing did a lot of my health and damage. I got an achievement for hunting a Widowmaker with his actual gun it's intended to be used on. Yeah, now that hunting pressure is going to just screw everything over. I see there's more over this way. I essentially have two shots, so I can kill like two of them and then I have to reload. Which, if I have to reload while I'm actually being killed by something, I'm dead anyways. Oh, are they going back to the honey hole? Get somewhere where I can see a clear shot. Yeah, I think quite a few of them ran right back up to the corner. Which is great. Means I can use the bow to kill them. Like that one right there, I can bow with that. Hunt it.
I freaking missed a stationary target, wow. Oh, that one just missed. Okay. Is there one literally stuck up there? No, that's a warthog. Okay, have we gone to go back even further? Or do they actually run off now? Uh, nope, they're back up that hole. Oh, that was a already dead one. How did I miss it when it stopped moving? Yeah, they tend to get caught on this area. I'll put another. I just want to say I'm going to put another arrow in it to make sure it goes down and then it's flopped. Like, this is the best way to make money in this game. You... You basically heard a whole herd of these guys over here and uh, just harvest every one of them. Because they, they get stuck over there and then they get stuck over here. And the bow arrows don't cost as much as the freaking... Other shots do. That's a gold one. And plus I can actually grab my arrows back. See there any more? Because if there are any more... I mean I'll accept them. It's also a good way to actually extinguish hunting pressure in other areas. Because hunting pressure, there's a limit to it so that when you start killing another area, it lowers the hunting pressure in the previous ones. Very fresh. Okay. It's dead. How long was it? Yeah, that's how long it took. I spent 90,000 and I've already got a ninth of it back. That takes like no time. All at the cost of about 10 arrows total. Yeah, I love the buffalo hunting. It's the easiest way to make money in this game. I start to herd them all in one direction. Specifically this direction. Once they get caught, I can just pick them off one by one.
Although now, I've had enough of those buffalo, I guess. I'm going to go buy the site for this and then buy a whole bunch of ammo for it. I'm just not fast traveling because I might be able to pick off another one or two on the way back. Then we're going for wildebeests and lions. Which will rely more on my long ranged gun, I think. This one might be better for the lions, though. Oh, there was another buffalo. How did I miss that guy? But yeah, the hunting pressure here is so bad. That's why it's a good thing it's away from all their feeding places and watering holes and everything. Because that right there would just eliminate that place for a while. Yeah, I think there was a whole at least dozen. Okay, I'm going to keep going down. Oh, that's a very old one, so the guy who was actually tracking went differently. Not that it matters much. But yeah, that's a pretty few fruitful harvest for just about 30 minutes. Wait, it's already been 30 minutes on stream? I didn't even realize that. Okay. Those aren't moving, so they're not buffalo. Oh, I saw that buffalo load in. I could probably... Okay, not anymore. I was going to say, I could probably make that shot with this gun. But then they ran into the bushes, and I'm like, nah. I'm not going to fire in into the bushes with this gun. Freaking trees. I got that's the same tree I got stuck on last time. Oh, that water gets deeper in the center. I thought it was just like knee deep. If I would have known that, I would have tried to cut through the water after them.
Yeah, the only way to get these guys is kind of to cut them off. I saw it. One. Bushes over here, there was one. Looked like a red one. Well, reddish brown. Or I'm seeing things. Another possibility. Another tree I'm running into. And I guess I'm just going to work my back up to the house. I like how the moment I say that I freaking hear the warning call behind me. Don't actually see the buffalo, though, is the problem. That's what happens most of the times. I don't see the buffalo. I hear them. Did that actually hit? Yes, it did. Oh, boy, that threw my aim into the dirt. He sent 1200. My rifle score is pretty good now. Actually, let me look at my hunting profile. Uh, weapon score. Let me just check this. Long shot, 338 meters. <sighs> Did I imagine that last one? That one I hit. I don't want to put a second round into it. But I have to, I think. Yeah, me just... Oh, that was a gold one. Oh, that other one I had was 132, that one was only 125. So the first one I hit in just the wrong way to not hit anything. I was just innocently looking through my freaking hunter card to see how my accuracy was, and then... Now let's look at it. One sec. The shots fired. Uh, accuracy is average of 75%. 78% with rifles. 74% with handguns. 71% with shotguns. 69% with bows. Okay, 75% isn't that bad. It can be worked on, but it's 
Not that bad. Yeah, I only have four shots left now. Fired two into that buffalo, and essentially that buffalo bought five. Snug up to the house, buy the site, and then all the rest of my money I'm putting into bullets. I think I'm only going to use this rifle for most of today. In fact... Actually, nah, I'll use the other rifle too. I was going to say, I'm going to take the other thing off. I think I'm going to do that next time, though. I'm going to actually start doing where I'm only going to be using certain guns for the whole stream. But yeah, that buffalo was literally... Like, he could have breathed on me again and I probably would have died at that point. That's how close to freaking death I was. And now we go down. Compatible items. Oh, that's more than 2,000 per bullet, actually. So I'm not going after the buffalo anymore. I can take that off. Okay. I only had enough for 30 rounds. That's a scrub hair. Scooter scrub hair. Let's go back to this area. Because most of the creatures that are going to injure me now are either going to kill me or I'm right, not doing enough damage for it to matter immediately. Like the lion, it will just straight up one-shot you, even though the saltwater crocodile doesn't one-shot you. Which honestly, if they have it already in the game where there's creatures that can one-shot you, they should have gave it to the saltwater crocodile too. Because honestly, if a saltwater crocodile bites onto you, you're not getting out of that. Central Savannah. Very much gonna need the binoculars out here, though. I don't think, actually, I can just use the Zenith. Now that I'm thinking about it, because the Zenith is only intended for Tier 9.
which there's two tier 9s on this map, more than most maps have. The lion and the... What's it called? The lion and the cave buffalo, the thing I was just hunting. How did I forget the name when I was just hunting it? But yeah, the zenith, if it shoots something, it's probably going to die. As long as you don't shoot in a stupid place. That's just a rock in the distance. Yeah, I'm going to start doing the actual like mission it wants me to do over there. But I'm also going to take the opportunity to hunt anything I see. I swear I keep hearing something. It's they're driving me a bit crazy, I feel. Oh, this is a need zone for something. Scrub hair, I'm going to assume. Nope, Jackal. Same tier, though. I think. Wait, no, Scrub tier... Scrub hair is tier 1, and then that one is tier 2. It's the same that I don't actually have a gun on me that I can take him on. Without, like... Blowing them to pieces. My lowest caliber gun I have on me, I think, is a 7. Besides the handgun, I think. The handgun would probably be able to do a 4. Remove the poacher traps. Okay, that's the mission. If I happen to see anything like a wildebeest, though, then... Yeah, the wildebeest is going to die. Another good deed. How many are there? With so many good deeds, the animals are going to like you. I can tell. That's just the taste of the warden's work here in the Vusha. There are other regions to explore. But if you want to stay here, make yourself useful. Check your mission log for assignments. I don't have any assignments right now, guy. If you'd rather continue exploring Boronga, head to my wishing tree. Marked on your map. There's something important you must do before we go much further. Okay. Oh. That's an outpost I just completely missed before.
Might as well grab it if I'm already nearby. It looks darker around. Okay, that's very old. Means I don't really need to care about it. Basically, the very old is telling you, yes, it walked past. Yes, it walked past here, but no, or are you gonna see it anytime soon? I should guess it should have been no. You aren't gonna see it anytime soon. Would be the proper grammar for that. There's something over there. There's wildebeest over there. I need to walk now instead of run. I forgot they have really good eyesight. I should have been crouching the whole time. But if I'm careful... I can guarantee a wildebeest. I don't think I can anymore, though. Pretty sure they ran. Oop. I can guarantee one of those, though. Okay, I heard something moving through the grass and thought it was a lion, but it was just me. Like, I actually jumped and skin of it there. I'm like, I was about to rush to turn around. Yeah, once I have enough money, I think I'm going to try getting the 338. Because it has the same tier as my 300. I just want to see which one of the two is better. From what I saw, the 338 is a single shot, but... It honestly... Having a single shot is okay, because... I, a lot of the times... Don't want to take another shot. I'm not sure if I actually got that one, though. The problems facing this reserve go beyond poachers and aging wardens. There are bad spirits, iloko, bringing mischief and misfortune. They only come because our ancestors are so angry with the state of this place. We need to make an effort to appease them. Yeah, that didn't go far. It's a gold-ranked one. Because I hit it perfectly in all of its good organs and none of the bad ones. And then the other one I hit terribly. Given the fact I think it managed to run pretty far before dying. You see, I much prefer this place over the taiga I was at last time. The taiga kind of sucked for me. It's 
So it should theoretically be close by there. Uh, which trail did it go by? This way. Oh, it has a low bleed out time. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm good without trying to buy, like, viewers. So, thanks for the offer, but I'm probably good. Okay. Now, which direction did it keep going in? This way. Got it. Good thing about using this heavy caliber rifle. Even if the animal doesn't go down immediately, at least it'll go down eventually. That's one of those times where expansion would have been good for me. But expansion is only good for if you can't actually get your shot in. And this one, I got the shot. I just... I think was a bit too low. Or high, actually. No, I was a bit too high on that shot. If I was lower, it would have been perfect. It should be just over here, I would expect. Yeah, that's 0 to 25. There it is. And I can confirm whether I was actually high or low. I'm pretty sure I was just a bit too high. And just gave it a flesh boot. Oh no, I was aiming like this and accidentally aimed a bit far down. Because when I was shooting at it, it was like this. I was a bit too far to the left. And now I run back. That rabbit I could have had if I would have had the bow out still. No, I do not want to use that gun against the rabbit. I almost used the Zenith against a rabbit. Oh my gosh, that would have been horrible. Like, straight up, there wouldn't have been a rabbit left for me to harvest, I think. That was the gems box. Okay, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to go for this stream. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go for about another half an hour, though. Oh. 
I got that one. Yeah, and that one dropped immediately. Yeah, that's another reason I think the single shot will be okay, because I end up reloading after every shot anyways. Oh, maybe it didn't drop immediately. Oh, I hit it everywhere where I didn't want to hit it. That's unfortunate. Do, do. There's the outpost. I think next stream I'm probably going to... Not Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, the Yukon, I think. That is a lion. I am not making that shot. I just no on that one. So I just need to go a bit further up. I think I headshot it. That sucks. It's the only way I think it would drop that quickly. Yeah, it's dead. So at least I have something to harvest. Like, I either got that on the head or I freaking spine shot it, causing it to drop down immediately. Because I was too high on that one. I just hit the trigger by accident anyways. Oh, there's another line over there. Uh, that was a perfectly good, I think, male lion. That was actually a good shot because I hit it in the freaking spine. 44. Is that better than the one I already have? Oh, that's so freaking close to... That one, I think, was so close to getting platinum. Or not platinum, diamond rank. I thought I'd actually screwed that harvest up, but no. I wish the ducks would shut up. But yeah, now that one's fan, it's time to keep looking.
That's my lion of the day, though. Why does that sound like a freaking like roar? The snorts on those wildebeest. I thought I was about to die. But I was completely convinced a lion was already on me. And that was the last like Roar before it got me. I think I even kind of froze up for a second there from it. Okay, that's just Wildebeest. I honestly don't worry about Wildebeest. They're not going to be the thing that kills me on this map. And again, I thought the same thing about Ranger before, but then Ranger killed me last time. Because the Ranger themselves got stuck on terrain, and so they just kept on running around in a circle, smashing into me. I'm gonna go back the other way. The way I know there's another lion. I prefer to kill the big value animals. It's just kind of amazing how you can literally just kill a whole like 12 herd of Cape Buffalo within like 5-10 minutes if you do it right. I think that's one of the ones where you have to use the bow because it really loads faster. And they will start running around, and if you get caught in that, you will die. Because you only have to get hit, I think, three times by a cape buffalo to die. So I'm pretty sure it does, well, it's either three or four. It does around a third of your health per hit. I think the stronger ones do more than half, though. Depends on what part of it you get hit by. Because I remember getting hit by one earlier, and it just immediately dropped me below half health. The one I thought I'd already killed with the freaking Zenith. Which I don't think I'm ever going to get the chance to kill a lion with the Zenith. Does how close I have to be for the zenith to work? Either the lion is charging at me and that's my, my last shot to try to kill it before it runs me over. Wait, I thought I saw something in the distance. Nah, I think it was just the like little heat things. Oh, I am actually at the range to kill with the Zenith. That was a stupid thing I just did.
I think it might be dead. Not 100% sure. But I sure screwed that up. That would have been a nice clean shot if I want to freaking jerk the trigger. Is it even bleeding? No organs hit. At all. Yeah, that one's getting away. Just straight up, that's getting away. I took a perfectly clean shot and screwed it up completely. Like, that was the perfect freaking opportunity. And my dumbass still screws it up. Like, I straight up couldn't have asked for a better shot opportunity. But I rushed it. Okay, so it's still going this way. I'm keeping this out because if I see it again, it's going to be freaking coming at me. I think I lost the tracks. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. I hate how little control I, ho I have over aiming in this game. It didn't die. Wait, what? Why are there two corpses in this area? Where are the three corpses now in this area? I don't think the lion died. Like, I refuse to believe that. Like, there's no way at the place I hit it, that line would die. You probably think I'm foolish with my traditional ways. Your brother thinks so. That's why you had to come back and help me. All your brother does is set up communication systems, set up all the cameras and the drones. Okay, he does a lot. But he doesn't hunt, and he doesn't believe in Iloko. I hope you are a little more open-minded. But yeah, that line is gone. Long gone by this point. I took a perfectly good lion and missed it and only just wounded the damn thing. Now there's a pissed off lion out there somewhere.
And it's all my fault because I was a dumbass and couldn't spend the additional, like, ten seconds it would have taken to line up a better shot. Yeah, the one thing I hate the most, or I should say the only thing I hate about this game, is how hard it is to line up a shot the way you want it to. Because I knew where I wanted that shot to be lined up. Just the controls, I can only move at a certain distance at a time. So I can't exactly smoothly aim at where I want to. Oh, well, uh, I took the shot and I have to deal with the consequences. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lion that's going to kill me today. That's actually a perfect shot, I think. Oh no, that's actually a pretty bad angle. I think I got it though. Uh, nope. I was a dumbass again. This is going to be my walking gun from now on instead of the revolver. Know what? Yeah. I'm not sure what I thought was going to happen there. I think that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, actually. At first, I didn't realize I was on the wrong guy, and then I just said, screw it, let's see if this works. Oh, I hit it. Damn. I hit it, and no organs? That means it actually gets to live. Looks like that poor freaking lion. Feels like I'm off my game today. I paused because for a second I thought that was the silhouette of a lion. I'm like, there's a lion in front of me. But no, I was just a jackal. To do. Ooh. 
I want to get at least a few more things before I end stream. Which I said I was going to end stream in half an hour, and it's been about that. But I'm going to keep going for about another 10, 20 minutes, I think. How is the buffalo spot doing? Still quite overwhelmed. I did kill like 12 or 13 of them in that one area though, so makes sense. The is it an animal or a rock thing keeps keeps going. Yeah, the thing is, animals in this game don't despawn, from what I know. Like, if you shoot an animal, it'll keep on being around until eventually you kill it. I don't want to go up here. Wait. I'm going to kill one more animal is what my decision is. And after I kill one more of anything... What I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go get on a freaking bike or ATV and then zoom around to try to get all the different spots. And like I said, it's one more of anything. Doesn't matter what. Could be a lion, could be a wildebeest, gems walk. Hell, for all I know, I could end up sh managing to actually shoot a rabbit. I have no clear shot that way, so I'm going to keep moving. Whatever I shoot next, I want it to 100% be, be a good shot. Those duck things are annoying. I keep on thinking I'm hearing something, like, actually good. Oh, that's a springbok. I don't think I've actually shot one of those before. And I'm still not going to have shot one before. Because that freaking hold breath thing goes all at freaking once. Which actually very much irritates me that it's like Hold breath, and the moment your breath isn't held anymore, it just throws your aim right out. Doesn't give any warning beforehand either. Yeah, that's freaking gone. Because you know, a lot of times I'll line up a nice shot and then just because I breathed, because I have to be a freaking mouth breather, it just throws your aim to the sky.
Let's see, can I actually... Yeah, I can go down here. There. That one was a pretty good shot. I accidentally held my breath right at the start, which is something you don't want to do. Oh, did I disconnect from chat? Okay. That's not a... Mm, that actually is a pretty bad thing. Wait. Oh, okay. It did get to move a little bit forward. The expansion hit the vertebrae. I'm just going to look at the watering hole over there, and then I'm going to teleport to the top, I think. The topmost outpost. Get on an ATV and just drive around to try to get as many of them as I can before stream ends. Which, from when I get on the ATV, I'm going to put a hard stop on when I'm going to finish stream. You know what? Oh, no, 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 that won't work. We can hold my breath again. Okay, I hit that thing perfectly. I refuse to believe I didn't hit that good. Like, I was on its freaking thing. Bullshit, I didn't hit any organs. I was over its freaking lungs. Did it have its lungs in a different place from normal or something? Still died, I guess, but whatever. Wait. That's a lion up there. I have one actual shot I can take from this angle, though. Which, that's not going to do anything, I think.
I think it just gets run off. Oh wait, that was much farther than I actually thought it was. You tell me it was on another hill. Hell, at that point, I might not even have noticed my shot then. It's freaking the frick out. Yeah, I had noticed though. It wouldn't be freaking out if I had noticed, I guess. Lead rate very low. That's another missed lion. I'll give it a bit more run though. That's not the one I wanted. Wait, what's over there? Oh, that's the jackal I haven't killed before. You know what? Oh, that freaking camouflage is right in. Too bad it didn't help him. I hadn't killed a jackal before, so I just kind of wanted to. I'm surprised I actually managed to hit that one, though, with what my accuracy has been today. I've been freaking garbage today. Oh my gosh, that was actually a lion, too. That would have killed me. I heard the running, like, where is it? Where is it? I'm not sure if that just wasn't aimed at me. Or whether I just happen to get lucky. Either way. I'm going to teleport up to here. Teleport up to there, get on ATV, and get to at least one place.
because my aim is up here. And from when I get on the ATV, 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to end stream in exactly 10 minutes, so at... Yeah, when exactly 10 minutes have gone by on my timer. This would hurt like a bitch. I've gone through but wait, what is that? I saw something running. <laughs> I was trying to run it over. I want to see if that was actually something you could do. Yeah, this is a nice ATV. And this map is a nice place to use one. Okay, that's a rock. I was making sure. I've actually been up in this area before. That was a, that looked like a whirlpool for a second. Damn, is that place far away. That's the first time I've actually hit something, too. Oh. Let me take the actual path for a minute. Someone just ran across the road up ahead. Well, I'm holding this power button as fast as I can. I can only hit 40. In fact, it's slowing down the longer I hold it. If you're on the road, Rabbit, you're going to want to not be. That was a close one. I am mildly tempted to see what happens if you actually do hit something in a vehicle. I'm gonna hit something. No, I did not. Okay then. I think how long it's gonna take me walking to get this far.
I'm surprised I've only hit one thing. Okay, so running over stuff does absolutely nothing. Because I was on top of that rabbit for a second. Oop, 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 oop. That was a close one. Okay, that took actually five minutes. So I have another five minutes to get to an outpost. But you won't take half that. The outpost is literally right down here. Which, yeah, I'm going to be completely reckless to try to get there. Oop, 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 oop. That's not reckless. At least not reckless enough. No. What I'm doing... Okay, that didn't work. Even I'd never do this if it was my actual quad. Because I don't want to wreck it completely like I would if I was doing it like this. Like usually if you're going downhill on a quad, you just kind of want to let it do its own thing. We have three minutes to make 400 meters. Should be no problem. And I disconnected a little bit on stream. But it doesn't mean it's actually a good time to end it. That would have completely blown through this cloth house. And I made it with two minutes to spare. Oh, it's outside. Okay. I'm gonna stock up on more rifle ammo. Actually, no, I'm going to save up my money to so I can buy the 338. But yeah, that's going to be calling the stream for today. So thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed the hunting. Hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.